is David. Today we're talking about Azure Media Services. Azure Media Services are a great way for you to upload, live stream, share, and code videos. So manage an entire video sharing workflow. And I use Azure Media Services. Of course, you need an Azure account. You can sign up for a free Azure account at azure.com. And once you have an account, open up the portal, which is you can find at portal.azure.com. And from here, we need to first thing create a new Azure Media Service. And the way that we do that is the way we create just about anything in Azure is this big green plus button that says create a resource. We click on that and Media services happen to be stored under mobile. You can find them here. You can also search for them in this search box, but here they are, media services. And when I click on that, I get this blade that says, tell me information about the media service you want to create. So I'll do that. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it DG Test in Media SRBC. I'll, I'll disemvowel that a little bit. I'll place it in a resource group. I'll create a new one here. A resource group, as you probably know, is a, a, just a, a logical grouping of Azure resources so that you can group them together and then manage them together. So I'll call this one DG Test. I call everything DG Test if it's a demo. Um, a resource group. Group, that's fine. I'll place it in the East US. You want to place it somewhere that's probably close to you or closer to who is going to consume that. And then I need a storage account a place to store my video assets and the associated assets with that. I'm going to create a new one here. I'll call it DG Test Storage right here. And the defaults are just fine for my purposes. Looks like I've got one called that already, so I'll call it DG Test Storage. Two, three. Let's try that again. DG Test. Media storage. There it is. That works. It has to be a unique account. I think somebody, uh, I may have created a demo earlier with that. And now I've got everything filled out. I can click the create button down here at the bottom. And once I do so, then it'll start to create the service. You can see there's a thing up here that's indicating that's in deployment. It takes less than a minute to create and deploy these things. There's a, there'll be a resource group, there will be a storage account. There will be a media service and a streaming endpoint. All that will be available to us. And from that, we can start managing these things. So let me walk you through while that's going on. Let me walk you through the steps of what we're going to do here. Number one, we want to create a new Azure media service. I just started that just now. Step two, we're going to upload a video. So I have a video and I'll upload it to my account to my service. Uh, and then I'm going to encode that video. Next I will play the video. And there's a it's the, the portal itself allows me to play the video. So I'll play it in the Azure portal. But really what I want to do is I want to share the video with others. Share video with others. And they may not have an Azure account. So there's a an extra way of sharing it that way. So that's what we've got here. And if I go back to here, we see that this is done. I can go to that resource and right here, see here is my Azure resource right here. And if I go down to assets, you notice that there are no assets, but I can upload one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upload one. Let me clear this out. And I have happened to have a video that I recorded this morning. It's right here. It's just a uh, few seconds long. Here is a short video to let you know that Azure Media Services are awesome. All right, there it is. It's uh, just a few seconds long and it's uh, you notice that it's an MOV file. So this is um, a Mac thing. I recorded that with my iPhone. And what I want to do is go up here, click on upload and select a file right here. And I'll navigate to that, and there's my file right here. And it'll upload, and you see the progress going on. It's such a small video, it only took a few seconds to upload. It's done right here. And um, if I go back to my assets, you'll see there it is. It's listed right here. And if I click on it, a little property sheet comes up. 
it tells me a little bit something about this. And I also have this menu bar at the top. Now I can't play it yet, and the reason I can't is because I can't, I haven't yet encoded it. So that's my next step, is I want to encode it. And I'll click on this, and it brings up a dialog here, and I have some options about how do I want to encode it. Different formats right here. The, the default is fine, MP4 for this. I can tell it what the names of the job is going to be, and the output is going to be. I'll leave the defaults for now and click on create and a job was added and what that means is if I close this then I go down here to jobs you notice there's a job right here and it's queued up it hasn't started yet so eventually this will change from queued to processing something on the back end of Azure is gonna say okay now I've got space to do this and and now it is it's got some cycles to do this and it'll take a few minutes to encode it because it'll encode it into several different formats in order to do some adaptive streaming so I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll come back to it when this encoding is finished. We are back and notice now that the video is finished. This job right here show went from queued to processing to finished. That's the status right here. And if we look over here in assets, you notice now there are two assets. There's my original one and then there is my encoded one right here. If I open up that, then I can see information about the encoded video here and there are different types of uh, encoding that it did automatically. Uh, I still can't play it here. The reason I can't play it is because I have to publish it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click publish and I'll say go ahead and publish it right now and I also have to start it as well. So I can click add right here to start and it's done. If I check that checkbox that says add it then that would start this as well, but I didn't check that, so what I need to do is, I'll tell you, I'll just do it again here, publish it and say, begin the streaming service, right there. So this will also take a couple of minutes, and rather than having you sit and watch this thing, then I will pause the video again, and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, we're back, and it took about three minutes, and now this streaming service is started. So now the play button is enabled here. If I close this, then I can click this play button on the encoded asset. And this opens up a player inside of Azure, inside of the Azure portal. And here I can see my little eight minute video, or eight second video. Here is a short video to let you know that Azure media services are awesome. Of course, that's very nice that I can play it here, but this is inside of the Azure portal, and your users may or may not have access to the Azure portal. So what you really want to do is to uh, embed this in a more generic player, something that anyone can use. And there are a bunch of them out there. There's one simple one to use, which is the uh, uh, Azure Media Player. You can search for this using your favorite search engine. Right there, it's ampdemo. dot. <laughs> AzureEdge.net right here. This is free to use and there's some samples in here. It's playing the first sample right there uh, but when you uh, change the sample just changes this URL right here. This is really what you want to change. Delete what's there and replace it with your playback URL which is this right here. I can use this to copy and then go back over here to that URL and when you play it, you want to play it, I'll go to the beginning, without this HTTP colon slash slash. That is implied right here. It says right here it has to have this ISM slash manifest in it, and that's part of the URL right there. So I'll do that, and I'll update the player, and we should see it playing right Here is a short video to let you know that Azure Media Services are awesome. And right here, this is the URL that you can see. Click on that green button here. Actually, just activates this code tab over here. And I can do this right here and open up a new browser and paste that URL. I'll send that email out to somebody, and there it is. There's the same URL again. Here is right here. I can also, if I go back to this, I can embed this in my web page with this code right here or I can embed a player in here and do something a little bit more advanced by copying and pasting this into my web page. And it's that simple. Now I've uploaded a video, I've encoded it, and I've shared it with my friends around the web. This is David. Thank you for watching.